The template of choice will be Clever Monikers R10 through the forks design. First step in all of these videos is taking a standard glue stick and gluing on the template to the wood. Next, we are going to clamp it up and use our jigsaw to cut out the lines. And there you have it, a rough cut R10. Now that we have it all cut out, we gotta file it. Got all the rasps and files out. I'm gonna get try to get out all of these saw marks. Now we'll be doing some hand sanding with 150 grit sandpaper. There we have a uh, fully usable slingshot. Comfortable in the hand. Everything's contoured and smooth. Now I'm just going to uh, try to make it look a little better. I actually forgot one step that I gotta do before I finish it, and that's putting the band grooves in. Since this slingshot has fairly long forks, um, I think it's actually going to need them. So I'm gonna find my round rasp. Oh, here it is. And we'll give it some bang grooves. Here's the groove all finished up. Got it to go all the way around. And uh, I think that'll work pretty well. So now I just got to repeat it on the other side. Okay, there we go. Grooves are all finished up on both sides. Now I will work on finishing it. Probably sand it with some 400 grit sandpaper. Get it all smooth. Try to get these black spots out. Then uh, maybe some steel wool. And then it'll go in the blow bath. Well, this is it guys. I sanded it all. I'm going to sand it. I think it looks pretty good. Still haven't figured out what this black stuff is, but that's alright. Hopefully it'll look alright uh, after oiling. Okay, I decided to only let it soak for about 30 minutes because I wanted to uh, finish it up. I'm just going to kind of get all the excess oil off with paper towels and then I'll buff it with a uh, cloth.
Oh. There we are. Our finished R10 by Clever Moniker. Well, here it is, guys, all banded up. I even added a uh, marker line so uh, it'll be more accurate. And uh, I think it turned out pretty good. So I'm here at 11 yards. Be shooting some 38 steel uh, with my standard uh, tapered latex flat bands. And I have a playing card down there with an orange dot in the center. And uh, we'll see just how accurate this thing can be. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little something, and I hope this inspired you to try it for yourself. If you have any feedback for me, or questions, or anything, please leave a comment down below. I really enjoy reading them, and I try to answer every single one. Also, make sure to check out my channel. I have tons of other videos like this, and tons of other cool stuff as well. And if you like what you see, I would really appreciate if you guys subscribed. Also, if you want to help out, make sure to like and share this video, and also to check out some of the other links in the video and in the description below. Really appreciate that as well, and it really helps out. Well, I think that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching my video, and thank you so much Clever Moniker for this beautiful design, and I will see you guys next Tuesday.